In this work, we propose a method for robot navigation in human indoor environments, such as the cluttered university buildings of the Stanford 2D-3DS dataset. More specifically, our goal is to have a robot navigate from a place A to a place B without relying on metric information. Instead of a metric map, we rely on the topology of the environment encoded as a graph. In this graph, the nodes represent locations and the edges correspond to behaviors that can be executed to traverse from the corresponding source node to the target node. Here in particular, the orange line depicts the current edge that the robot is in the map. Our proposed navigation approach, GraphNav, is structured into three main components, localization, behavior selection, and behavior execution. The localization component takes as input the topological map of the environment and depth observations from the robot, and estimates its position using a graph neural network, here GLN. Based on the location information and a navigation plan, the behavior selection component then determines which high-level behavior the robot should execute next. Finally, the behavior execution component outputs velocity commands from the chosen behavior neural network. We now detail these networks. The image on the left shows the TurtleBot robot that we use in our work in the Gibson Physics Space Simulator. On the right, the observations that the robot has available to it are depicted. Note that we only use depth in this work, but contribute a data set of navigation trajectories with RGB and semantics information as well. This data can be used to train more complex behavior networks in the future. As can be seen in the video, the corridor follow behavior enables the TotalBot to robustly traverse corridors while avoiding collisions. In total, we consider five different behaviors in our work. Our results show that they all perform well even in previously unseen cluttered environments. We now show two examples of our system navigating long distances. On the left is a video of the robot in Gibson, and below are its observations of the environment. As mentioned before, we only use depth in our work, but show RGB and semantics information to facilitate visualization in this case. On the right is the layout of the environment. The robot navigates from the room in the top right corner all the way to a room in the middle of the space. The robot is able to complete a long navigation task in this complex environment. We now show another example. In this case, the robot has to navigate from the bottom left room to the top right office. Note that in order to complete this plan, the robot has to pass clutter very closely. Please see our paper for more details and results.